Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Ordóñez. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Today the topic will be how to modify the IP address of a PLC. First, I will open the portal. Remember that in our previous video we saw how to reach the PLC through the accessible devices option in the portal view. Now we are going to do something similar but from the project view. In the when you have access to the device, you have um, more things to do, not just to check for example for the firmware version, but you have access to some functions. These functions are the ones that we are going to use to change the CPU mode. Okay, so I changed to the project view. Now that I will be in the project view, I will go to this small icon in the in the toolbar which is accessible devices. I click on it and it will open me the assistant for the connection so I can select my PLC. Remember that this option scans all the network so if you have more than one PLC you will find it again. We set the Profinet interface then we set which adapter are we going to use and we click on a start search. This will scan the whole network finding all the devices that you have connected to it. In my case it's just one PLC. Perfect. After we have found our PLC, we click on show and this will update the accessible devices that I have on online accesses. Now that I have here, I can click on online diagnostics to have the same view that I had in my previous video. There is something really important here. Look, the operator panel, we have the PLC in a stop mode. If I change it to run, I will not be able to change or modify the IP address. I need to go to functions, here assign IP address, and if I try to change this from 1 at right now to 10, and I click on assign IP address, pay attention here at the bottom right corner. It says the set command could not be executed, but if I change this to an stop mode and after it is in a stop mode I assign the IP address 10, this will be done. How I can check if I have uh, change the IP address correctly, I go to CMD and try to ping the IP address that is now on the PLC, the 10, and I receive the reply from the device. Now I will change this one to 1, Okay, I have to update again the accessible devices because this was supposed to communicate with the 0.1 address. Update accessible devices. And now I have here the 0 0.10. I click on online diagnostics. Let's go to functions. And here I can set it again to 1. And click on assign IP address. Once this has already changed, here says the parameters well transferred successful. I go here, I try again to ping the number 10, 
you can see now that there is no reply the request time was the request timed out and that is basically because there's no device with, with that IP address but if I try to ping the number one I will get the reply so this is how you change the IP address of your PLC without having to be directly uploading a program to it this is just through the accessible devices features I hope you enjoyed the video but mostly that it has been useful for you please don't forget to share subscribe and like the video if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section down below for today it has been all bye bye